the idea is to be able to make something that's very competitive to sell in bulk. But this, that's why when I decided I wanted to do this, I, I didn't just want to be the same as, as everyone else. The accuracy, the quality is just as good. Now we've got a great technical corner for you today. I'm, I'm in the studio with Matt Jeunesse from Microlock. You'll know this man and you'll know the Microlock system for being a flexible work holding solution, but he's got something different in the business now, which, um, you're telling me it's going to be quite disruptive, and we'll find out. Uh, we'll find out why shortly. Matt, what have you got here? Why have you introduced it? Um, tell our audience. Okay, well, finally we've bought out a five-axis uh, vice and uh, zero-point system. Uh, obviously, we've been renowned for the Microlock, which is for three and four-axis uh, machines. But up till now, we've never done our own self-centering vice. This is a British product. It's designed and manufactured by ourselves in the UK. At our factory in Cambridge here and like I said we've designed it to compete with uh, other existing systems and uh, like I said offer something that's UK made. Well are you finding that because five axes your, your microlock system base plates locations and clamps very vertical machine instead of a horizontal machine. Yeah. Are you finding that that market, more people are going towards five axis machines, so I guess that opens up opportunities for you for new products? Well, definitely, that's the main reason for us doing this. Over the last five or 10 years, there's been a massive move over to five axis machines and automation. And uh, so that's why we, we've come out with this, this product, um, because it can go on your small automated Well, I'm thinking five like your Matsura's machine. MX330s yeah. with all those pallets. You, you know, you want well, we do, three we on do a one to suit directly to an MX330 from Matsui, yeah. yeah. Okay, so tell us, let's imagine people in the audience are thinking, well, how does a five axis vice like this work and they've not seen one before? Just walk us through the basics. So basically you have a, a manual zero point plate that would bolt onto the five axis pallet, whether it be this sort of size or a single pallet five axis. We do different sizes to suit. We do two ranges. So we've got the 52 millimeter pitch and the, uh, the 96 millimeter pitch. And so that, goes onto the machine table or your pallet. And then your vices, which we do in two sizes. So we've got the 77 millimeter wide one and the 125 millimeter wide one. Is that a standard one. as well? Again, that's, that's a standard. Yeah. We do two different lengths in this size and three lengths in that size. So we're trying to standardize production to make it cost effective to manufacture, to sell at a good low price. Uh, these things are all about speed and repeatability, aren't yep. they? And that's where this is it. So you drop that vice on, is that how So it... yeah, so I've undone the front screw and I simply drop the vice on. You then tighten that screw, you can then put your vice in and you clamp. I notice here you've got these serrated jaws as well and this, you can flip them around too if you don't yep. want the serrations. So you've got that versatility too with a, with a clamp in. Exactly, so you've got the versatility of the 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 jaws that you, you might need to pre-crimp your workpiece, uh, these will fit existing crimping machines. You can turn them round so you can clamp larger parts or you can clamp square parts by sitting it on, onto that. You can obviously clamp out and in as well. Or you can completely replace these jaws with a soft jaw carrier, which you can then bolt soft jaws on, on top of. Okay, but this is gonna be a big uh, market for you guys. Now I mentioned, disruption at the start of this, because that's a, the word that you use to me. Tell us then about the costs of these units. Well, like I said, we've designed, we're making these on our Matsura machines and uh, our vertical machines, and uh, we've got CNC grinding in-house. So the design, the idea is to be able to make something that's very competitive to sell in bulk. So we, we, our prices start, so this vice starts at £469, and that's a 77 mil wide jaw, 130 mil long. The pallet this fits on would suit a Matsura, and that's £369. So we're trying to mass produce a, a mass sell in the UK. Okay, then for the slightly bigger one? This vice is £749, and this pallet is five, this is a what? 192 by 192 pallet, and that's 535 pounds. Okay, now, so really, really compare. I don't know much too much about price, and I don't buy them. But it, you're you're yeah. saying that this is going to position yourselves as a as a company as a very competitive resource that's, for this. That's why when I decided I wanted to do this, I I didn't just want to be the same as as everyone else. I want to be 20, 30 percent cheaper than you know the top German products. The accuracy, the quality is just as good. 
So the idea but surely is... You, you, and you mentioned earlier, you can pick this up, you can put this onto an existing other manufacturer's sort of kind of base plate. Can yeah. You? Yeah. Because it's an industry there no, standard. There's no impact on repeatability, accuracy, or there's, no, there's nothing different there. No, because uh, the accuracy of our system is very compatible with the accuracy of, of, of their systems. F from, from your angles, as well as a business, and I guess you're going to look at direct sales to, to customers that have got existing systems, but also uh, the OEMs who are, are, are trying to spec out a machine that's full of work holding ready to go for a customer. Exactly, that's what we're planning this around, you know. If you've got a Matsu MX-330 with 10 pallets, you know, sell 10 of these, 10 of these, bang, off it goes, you know, next one. You know, the idea is you, you, you can sell this from a catalogue because, you know, everyone knows how, how this works. So you can literally see it, see the price. You know that it's going to be well made because it's made by us with a very good name in the, uh, and reputation in the industry. And, and you're safe in the knowledge that you're buying a good product. Um, go into your place where you machine, like you, you mentioned your Matsura machine, your grinding facility. Is it going to be a similar, you, you've got a lot of micro lock there in stock, you're always machining base plates and clamps and locators. Similar with this, it's going to be there, yeah. off the shelf, ready to go. That, that's and are the you plan. keeping it, sorry to keep jumping over you, but I'm, I'm intrigued that you're keeping this simple as well. You've only got two two here. Is that going to be your main? To, to begin with, that, that's that's the idea. So like I said, we've got two of the sizes of this vice, three sizes of that vice, quite a few different sizes of the the zero point pallets, and we will offer a service where we can machine the pallet to suit exactly your machine. So if you don't want to do anything in house, we can do all that for you. But obviously we've got the advantage of we can, if you want a big base plate to put, put lots of these on, we can do that. If you want to mount these to cubes, we can make the cubes for you. So we can do everything in house to suit your, your customer. Because you've got that manufacturing because facility. Because we've got the manufacturer facility. There you heard it. Disruption. Uh, less than £800 for this vice and less than 500 for this one. And of course, you need the bases as well. But uh, good luck. I'm sure you'll be really successful with it. Um, you saw it first. Launched here. Launched on today. Yep. On MTDCNC. Thanks for having me. Thank you.